Live in it to win it, the craziest competition ever done in Jordan. We put one Toyota Yaris in City Mall, picked four guys out of thousands of applicants, and put them in the car to see who can live in it to win it. They had to eat in the car, sleep in the car, and just stay in the car for days, save for one bathroom break every three hours. The guys were so tough that they handled every hard rule we gave them, like no personal items in the car, no talking to outsiders, having to sit with stinky cheese in the car, keeping all their food trash in the car with them. These were just some of the rules. The guys were not getting sick of living in the car. We had to do something to make the competition a little harder on them. So we brought in a big guy to sit in the back seat with them, just to take up space. And then on top of it all, the new guy brought stinky cheese and fish for dinner that the boys had to smell. Thought it was determined not to get uncomfortable with the new guy taking up all of his personal space. But Ennis was quite entertained by the new guy, especially while Thought it was trying to sleep. <laughs> The new guy living in the car with them couldn't take a shower as well, and the boys were definitely uncomfortable with the bad smells coming from the big guy. The guys weren't bored living in the car in City Mall because they were getting entertained by all their visitors. So we decided to test their patience by forbidding them to talk to anyone outside the car, even on their breaks. C and A. Claude can. One of those. The boys resorted to charades to communicate with outsiders. If you think it's easy to live in a car, you haven't tried to sleep in a car. Especially at City Mall, where construction work and janitors cleaning make a lot of noise in the early morning. Yes, there is no personal space sleeping in a small car, and that is Ennis's hand. It's early in the morning and someone's building something. And one of the most uncomfortable rules we gave the guys was they had to sit backwards in the car all day. This position is killing me. Okay, so how's your back feeling? Yeah, actually there's a little pain, but I'm managing you know, to move myself every 15 seconds, do some stretches in my place. Yeah, best 14 days ever. Really? Yes. <laughs> wow. And were the guys getting on each other's nerves, living together all this time? I, actually, I am a little bit annoyed. About? He has his farting strategy, it's killing me, I swear. So thought it was the first person to leave the car. Thought it made an inappropriate comment to the crowds outside the car that resulted in Ennis's public humiliation. We told Ennis during the morning show that he had a choice to either let Thought it stay or evict him from the car. I don't want to stay. Do you understand why he made this decision? Um, uh, an easy ticket. An easy way out for me. <laughs> get somebody out of the car? Yeah. So you feel it's like a strategy point right now? Yeah, of course. And then Ennis, the very next day after taking Tata out of the car, decided he was done with the competition and stepped out of the car to leave. Decided to leave because I want that. Because I want to leave. So if, if you knew that you were going to leave today, would you have still evicted Tata yesterday? No. How do you feel about Ennis leaving the car? Actually, it was uh, very shocking. Shocking, yeah, exactly, weird. He just uh, opened the uh, door and got out. 
then it was down to Ahmed and Ayman. We brought in Dr. Rami to check up on the boys every several days to see if they were healthy living in the car. At the end of two weeks, Dr. Rami told us that we shouldn't keep Ahmed and Ayman in the car for much longer because it would take a toll on their health, and that's when we decided to end the competition. I'm afraid uh, about them because they are starting to show uh, some symptoms that we are afraid of. Yeah. Okay, they're not sick now, but they are on the way to. Because the doctor advised us to end the competition, we held an emergency live show to decide who between Ayman and Amr would win the car. We brought a bowl full of keys where the real key to open up the Toyota Yaris lay inside. The guys had to pick one key at a time, run back to the car to see if it would open the car, and whoever opened the car first would win it. The boys scrambled to get through as many keys as possible. <laughs> I'm so excited, so happy for Amr. In the same time, I feel sorry for uh, Ayman and the other guys. I wish them the best uh, in their life. And did you ever think that your son would come? No, at the beginning, I wasn't agree with Amr to participate in this competition. But at uh, the end, the last three, uh, three, four days, I start to pray for him. <laughs> No, because he has exams in the university. This is the reason. Yeah. Yes, I'm his anchor. I feel very happy that he won the car. I think he deserves it. After 14 days of no showering, Amr sprayed himself with deodorant as soon as he won. It's been a long journey. 14 days, four guys, one Toyota Yaris in City Mall, and one final winner. Amr, who will get to drive his car around Amman this summer. Yeah,